Welcome to the Flinders Ranges, a stunning destination in the heart of South Australia. As we explore the area, we encounter a variety of wildlife, discover incredible rock formations and ancient rock art, and encounter an all too familiar summer storm. So settle in and see the best of what Ikara Flinders Ranges has to offer. Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Adventure Unlimited. Coming to you from the Flinders Ranges. So we rolled in here last night. We did over 800 k's yesterday. We didn't think we were gonna get up to the actual ranges, but we've camped just outside the National Park. Yeah, treated to an absolutely spectacular sunset last night. And this morning I woke up feeling like Augustus Gloop had just woken up in Willy Wonka's factory. The scenery around here is just insane. There's so much to see and do. We don't have nearly long enough, but we're gonna crack into it, starting with the southern section of the ranges. Uh, do some hikes through there this morning, and then uh, move around and, uh, and camp up towards the north inside the National Park. We're both super stoked to be here. It's been on both of our bucket lists since uh, before we even met each other. And um, stay tuned, it's gonna be a cracker. hike of the day, Arkaroo Rock. So it's pretty much the first one you'll come to as you enter the park from the south. Three k's, reckons two hours, maybe with the amount that we stop and look at stuff. so far. It's um, not crazy hard. Plenty rocky. Plenty of hills. It's good. Amazing views but let's get out of these trees. I'll show you. Afternoon hangout. Get some good shade in the afternoon here. Oh, there's a view. One point six k's into the little hike, and you come across the rock art. Oh, it's some decent amount of rock art too. Skeleton of Mother Earth. So that's the little trek done. 3.22 k's. It's pretty, not 
would say intense, but a bit of a workout. It's pretty easy, just a few rock scrambles. Well, not even scrambles, really. Uh, how long did we take to do it? We did it in one hour and seven minutes with faff. A lot of faff. A lot of stopping to take photos and videos. So uh, if you just want to come and check it out, allow an hour, an hour and a half. Easy. Good boots and waters, definitely. Yeah. There was some tantrums from small humans that did not have the correct footwear along the way. Uh, all right, I can't remember the next place that I wanted to go check out, um, but we're going to go there now. Yep. Still just staying in the southern part of the park. You'll find out when we do. <laughs> next stop of the day, about 10 minutes up the road, is Casino Tree. I think that's how it said. If you haven't worked out by now that we're bad with names, then goodness help you. I'm bad with English in general. <laughs> Uh, super short walk. Apparently the tree's famous. I've read online. Um, I can't remember what for. But I'm sure there'll be a sign that will tell us. So it's famous because photographer Harold Kasno took a nice photo of it. Sorry, wind's just picked up. I actually seen this tree on our ABC documentary. I don't know if it's ABC documentary, it's an ABC program about the world's best tree. Funny, it's a four or five part series. I'm pretty sure this tree was in that. Bloody from back roads. Came, okay. came to this tree. Which I'm my age now. <laughs> Watching back roads and documentaries on trees. 40 year old boomer. <laughs> it hasn't really changed a lot right. since 1937. Oh, nice backdrop. Yep, backdrop. Uh, next up, we're going to head to Sacred Canyon. Another short walk and then we'll probably have some lunch there. So Sacred Gorge um, is restricted access for guided tours only and we are obviously unguided so we will give that a miss and uh, add it to the list of places to check out when we come back during our lap. Four drive track is not difficult but it's pretty epic. Razorback lookout. Probably about halfway from the turn off to camp. Pretty much just the road, just the dirt road. Yeah, a few little washouts, but um yeah. Gnarly views coming over the uh, ridge and looks like we've got a bit more to come. Judging from the track down there, thoroughly enjoyable. Unless you're behind me eating dust. Different formations over the years. Built. We have just arrived at camp. It's only a little bit after midday and it's uh, it's got to the point where it's pretty much too hot to do anything else. Uh, so straight in, uh, we're at Ackerman, 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 Ackerman uh, campground. 
really close to Bunyaroo Gorge and yeah we just set the awnings up straight away get some shade cool down uh have some lunch and then once it starts to cool down in the afternoon we'll probably go and have a bit of a look at some of the sites around here there's a yellow tailed rock wallaby colony not too far away so we might do some day tripping in the lux but yeah there's a storm that's also meant to be coming this afternoon so that might stop us from doing any of that. Might be interesting. It could make it interesting. See some soggy wallabies. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this spot here, uh, so it's all reserved campsites. No one else was booked in. I just booked it this morning. Four sites here and there were four available. But um, nice view of the gorge there. And we're pretty close to the gorge um, walking trail to start off. <laughs> Sometimes you know, your life can get any worse. And then it's a turn and it does. Day trip in the <laughs> So, so yes, we're day tripping in the Lux. Well, not day tripping, we're just going for the trip. Well, is it through the day? It's daytime, but it's not a day Are trip. Are we going on not, a trip? We're not going away for the whole day. Is it a trip though, away from camp? Not really, just down the road. <laughs> so we're going for a drive in the Lux. <laughs> it's rough, I'll give you that. <laughs> the, the, the Uber driver is getting a one star rating. <laughs> But it's stinking hot. It's 39 degrees outside, and we thought, what better place to be is in Aircon. So we're gonna go to where there is a colony of wallabies, the yellow tail variety. Yeah, I'm very excited. Carly does love wallabies. Yeah. I like wallabies, don't like the bucks. Ah, uh, that's alright, I'm like sitting in the desk, just saying. <laughs> but, yep, we're going for a trip. Go find some wallabies. Coming into a pretty sick little valley now. Been following the creek for a bit. It's pretty awesome. A little bit of water around. Not a huge amount. Alright, there's another storms are brewing. Get some thunder. Well, we could be in for another storm. I just spotted a couple of little wallabies up in that little hole up there and then there's another little baby in there and then there's a couple over here. There's a whole bunch of goats. Oh yeah, there's a shitload of goats. So yeah, pretty successful. They all seem pretty happy up there. Just chilling out. So yeah, we stay as far away as possible to keep them undisturbed. They seem to be loving life up there. I think we're all about to get disturbed by a thunderstorm. Yeah, well there was, when we were just over here, there was a massive ball of lightning come down, <laughs> so. I think it's time to get back to camp. Ah, the rains are here. You know, getting heavy now. Pretty deep the rain. 
get pretty easy. I want to salvage my one star rating. Holy shit, my rivers running down the track already. Oh, that river's flowing. These were all dry when we came down. Flowing, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Well, that was an unexpectedly exciting trip back to camp. And I think we've pretty much just beat the rain. It's coming. It's coming. It's only been a little bit here. I think it's coming from the northwest, and we've just come from the northwest. It's clapping, thunder's clapping off everywhere. So sort of batting down the hatches. morning from Ikura, Flinders <laughs> Ranges. Ended up having a nice relaxing night last night once the storm came through and cooled things down a little bit. Uh, and we are up and packed up really reasonably early this morning to head off to do the Bunyaroo Gorge hike. It was a bit hard this morning, it was bloody humid, <laughs> no wind. It's not that hot but man, it's sticky. Yeah. Um, so the hike we're about to do, it's listed as a, about a 7k hike, but there's no real destination as stuff. You just walk through the whole gorge. So we'll see how we're going time-wise and whether we do the full 7k's or whether we turn around a little bit early. And um, yeah, looking forward to having a look around Bunyaru Gorge. So we are just going to do... This bit up here, that goes to the western extremity of the National Park. <laughs> Sounds so cool. Bit of excitement already. A couple of kangaroos and a piece of budgery guards. The disappointing thing all of the national parks and that these days. Feral animals. Saw heaps of goats yesterday. There's foxes and cats as well out here. of seconds we saw some yellow tail rock wallabies and while we were filming them didn't realize there was a huge eagle in the tree right near us it just bombed out of the tree and just cruised down about our height away from us down the creek it's bloody epic cannot complain wildlife been awesome already and the scenery is epic. Spotted an eagle just chilling out in the creek bed up there. Probably don't know if we're gonna get close enough to get him on camera, so we'll try a little sneaky sneak mission up there. 
trying to scare it away. We've done 2.99 k's, hour and 10. So we've got, it's only another k to the end, but time constraints and whatnot. Mm. So with all we'll turn around now and start heading back. Sorry. It's been an epic hike down. Eagles, wallabies, kangaroos. Heaps of birds. Birds. Yeah. Almost um, got that eagle at the end, yeah. but autofocus on the camera failed. We've got focus. a really nice shot of the tree that I was behind. We got within about 100 metres of it before yeah. it decided to boozle off and then just cruise down the creek again at real low altitude. It was pretty cool. It's cool mm. to see. Um, definitely good good boots for this truck hike. Plenty of water. We bought the snake bite kit and the GME PLB just in case. Yes. And, and we got EpiPens. Yes. So it's good to be prepared, even if it's only a short hike, particularly if you're out in the uh, more remote areas, in case you do get into trouble, mm. especially um, for those of you who are allergic to many things. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to. Smash it back to the cars now and hit the road. Yep. Then we're going to finish off the Flinders Rangers loop um, and then call it a day for the episode. Yeah. Call it an episode. See you at the next stop. Next stop, we just pulled up, it says Tramatolites. It's a good word. I just like the word. It's cool. It's Tramatolites. It sounds so cool. By his own admission, struggles with basic words. Nails Tramatolites. Yeah. I don't have to think about them. <laughs> so, Tramatolites are an ancient, simple life form. Anything. A bit like Carlia. A bit like the people who are invented the hot lux. <laughs> Shimbrow Pogo. Says the 79 driver. The simplest there is. Simple but strong. Um, I guess when we just follow this track, see where it takes. So we keep trekking, and the track just goes nowhere. Nice view. It's really nice for you. Don't get me wrong, but I'm pretty sure I actually we're supposed to stop away back there where the other sign was. It's kind of like it's just a kangaroo track we're following. Mm. Guess we'll go back down and look for the stromatolites. 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 So we found them. We come back to the sign. There's actually some info on the back of it that we didn't see. Info, which is hidden. Stromatolites. So, as per that documentary I watched, I think this gives you the best example here of the stromatolite. Multiple layers of single-celled organisms building on top of it and top of each other to build this form. I think that's what it is. If any geologists out there know better than me, which you mostly do, or anyone who mostly knows better, <laughs> let us know in the comments. Got some, some other pretty interesting things around this area. Even just the plain old igneous rockius. So it's an, it's an igneous form of a rock, which is a rock, which is pretty exciting. <laughs> On the walk up, but we also found some igneous wooderis, which is an ancient form of carbon which collects into a form of wood, as formerly known today. Known as a tree. Yeah, simpleton terms. Three. 
<laughs> some living ones here. Come in multiple forms. Yeah. So that's an igneous one. It's dead. <laughs> All right, let's get moving. Ah. just pulled in at Stokes Hill Lookout on our way out of Ikara Flinders Ranges National Park. And that's pretty much where we're going to wrap this video up. Uh, hopefully you have enjoyed this episode. Uh, super short visit here. We will come back during our lap. There's so much to do here. Going past so many points we were like, oh, we turn off camp, we'll explore. Yeah. Definitely worth coming back. Heaps of hikes. Uh, if you have been here before and there's anything that we absolutely cannot miss next time, let us know in the comments. If you like this video, you know what to do. Smash that like and subscribe button.